And now... Hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Again? Nothing up my sleeve. Presto! <laughs> Ooh, don't know my own strength. Now here's something we hope you'll really like. <laughs> Hello, Peabody here. My companions are Wayback and Sherman. Wayback is a time machine. Sherman, a boy. Where do we go today, Mr. Peabody? Our destination, Sherman, is North Carolina. And the time? December 17th, 1903. A date synonymous with aeronautical history. For today, we meet the inventors of the first practical airplane, Wilbur and Orville Wright. Sherman and I were deposited on an antiquated airfield where we directed our attention to a large barn bearing the motto, if you want it done, get it done right. That must be their hangar, Mr. Peabody. You remember? Better let us sons have our airplane or else we'll shoot. Well, but right. I'm going to count to three, and if we don't get our airplane, we're going to fire. One, yeah, uh, uh, two, Orville. Oh, yeah, two. That number always throws me. Two. What comes next? Uh, try nine. Pardon me, gentlemen, but can we be of assistance? You sure can. What comes after two? I'll tell you, but first, what seems to be the trouble? There's a critter inside what's got our airplane. I think five comes after two, Orville. But surely this can be settled peaceably. How? Call the sheriff. No, we want to handle this ourselves. Besides, the sheriff's allergic to birds. Birds? Peering through a window, Sherman and I saw a startling sight. The Wright Brothers airplane and a large bird. Know who she is? Yes, but I'm ashamed to say it. Kitty Hawk? Yep. It had to be. We had an airplane out there on the runway, and that there fool bird went and fell in love with it. That was Orville's fault. I told him we better make an ugly plane, not a handsome one. Now, if you fellas will just stand back, we'll blast her. But you can't shoot a poor harmless bird. The boy's right. I'll think of something else. Wilbur's first idea was to induce Kitty Hawk to leave the hangar. This here is winter, ain't it? Uh-huh. And birds fly north in the summer, don't they? Uh-huh. Then we'll make believe like it's summer, and that fool bird will leave. Moments later, in 20-degree temperature, the brothers Wright cavorted about in swimsuits. Oh, say, it is a hot summer day. Isn't it a hot summer day, Wilbur? Yep, it's a very hot summer day, Orville. And I wish that you would dash some cool water on my poor hot head. Anxious to please, Orville picked up a nearby bucket. As for Kitty Hawk, she was genuinely interested in the performance. But unfortunately, that bucket of water Orville threw at Wilbur turned to ice and... Golly, Mr. Orville, if you'd only let Mr. Peabody help. Yes, Sherman is absolutely right. Now, my plan... Nope, I ain't licked yet. If we can't get that there bird to leave that there plane, then we'll get that there plane to leave that there bird. It wasn't until Kitty Hawk fell asleep that Wilbur put his second plan into operation. Crawling inside the hangar, he attached a long rope to the airplane's wheels. That done, he and Orville pulled the plane out. I told you I'd do it. I told you I'd beat that bird. That plane's gonna fly. Without a propeller... Oh, that kitty hawk, that doggone bird. I'm going to blast her so full of buckshot. Well, Bert, I think your ideas is fine, but they don't work. I think it's time we listen to him. And listen, they did. My plan was to appeal to the mother instinct in kitty hawk. We merely took a large egg-shaped rock, tucked some straw around it, and kitty did the rest. I never saw a happier bird in my life, Mr. Peabody. Of course, even though they had their plane, Wilbur and Orville still had their troubles. You got it now, Wilbur. I'll say contact and you twirl that propeller on the count of three. Ray, one, two, uh... Try 17. Gee, did they ever get off the ground? Eventually, Sherman. In fact, they flew during the day and played poker at night. And Kitty Hawk? She sat right beside them, Sherman, begging for food while they played. Come to think of it, 
That's how the poker term came about. What term? Feed the kitty.